Uh oh, there's the plow truck. Yeah, he's just turning around in the parking lot here. You know, there's like barely any snow on the ground, and he was like driving on the road earlier with like the plow down, and I didn't know why. But I guess uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever they gotta do to keep the road clean, I guess. It doesn't really make sense to plow the snow, it's like a dusting. Like, not even a dusting. Got it. So, I don't know. I guess he's just out taking his time, going around. He must be on the clock, that's why. And there goes one of them UPS trucks. Stopped at the light now. So, well, that's about all the excitement tonight, so, uh, yep. Ah, he's coming back again. Yeah. Back again. Nope, that's not the, actually, that's, uh, it's Paul, but it's not the truck. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. He's coming back. Yeah, that's the plot truck. He's back again. He's just turning around. He must keeps going across the intersection and going over somewhere. I'm not sure where, but he's going somewhere. Yep. Then he goes over to uh probably tractor supply and turns around there or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there he is again. Yep. So that's the third time he's gone around so far since we've been sitting here, and uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll go around more, one more time, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why, it hasn't snowed for like an hour now. And he's still driving around. Of course, one, one person doing the whole Allendale, Coltsville area, I guess it must take a while, because you got like three lanes on each road, and there's like freaking... Seven roads and stuff, and yeah, there he goes. Well, today I'm gonna uh, show you this uh, this uh, little thing I got for uh, at Sears. I got it um, for a hundred dollars. It was on sale from uh, one fifty, and someone I knew had this uh, thing, and they uh, used it. Uh, at Boy Scout camp this past summer, and I figured, you know what, that's a pretty neat little thing, and uh, he said he bought it for $150 or something like that, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, and uh, I went home, and about two or three weeks later, it was on sale at Sears for $100, so <clears throat> I figured I'd, uh, I bought this because, uh, it's a pretty neat little versatile uh, thing. It's uh, basically what it is is a battery pack, uh, like a you know like a car battery, but I don't think it's as big as a car battery. Uh, uh, it does um, a number of things. It's got the uh, jump starting cables on there in case you got to jump start something, your car, or whatever. And it's got this little light here. If I can find the light. Yeah, it's pretty pretty bright little light. And uh it's a hundred percent charged there. Takes about I can't get that to focus. It takes quite a while to charge it the first time. Can't remember exactly how long, but uh you'll get you know, in the the owner's manual you'll uh says all that. Uh, it has these two, these two 12 volt plugs here, like your uh, cigarette lighter in the car type thing. It's got two of those that are 12 volt, and it's got two outlets like this that are the regular 110 volt, I guess is what it is. And it's got a little USB plug here, so if you needed to plug in a laptop or an iPod or something like that you can do that 
this little switch here turns on the jump start thing. And it's got that stupid little it's got an air compressor on it. On the back, sorry about the camera. I trying to trying to do this with the phone is not the easiest thing to do. On the back there, you can see the gauge here. It's for uh, the air pump, air compressor. You know, you can pump up your bike tires or whatever, and the you know, cord comes out a good, decent amount, anyways. And in this bag are a bunch of different little uh, things for like uh, your pumping up a ball or whatever different tips to go on this so you know you don't just have to type pump up uh, car tires and bike tires and stuff you can do a lot more with it so that's kinda cool it's got a little uh, pocket there it goes into if you can get it to stay and on the side here this is a little hole when you turn that compressor on there's a little a hose for you know, blow air out or blow it out, uh, blow the air out here. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, so it blows out here and it sucks in here. So if you need to blow up an air mattress or deflate it or just need like a air blowing on something, you know, if you're out camping or whatever, and you know, it's just nice to have a little bit of electricity if you need it. You know. You know, it's got a light, an air compressor, plugs, and in the owner's manual, there's a little piece, there's a little page on, I think it's on the back here, actually, saying what uh, the uh, AC power specifications and stuff, and stuff like that, and what you can... Uh, I think there's another page in here on, yeah, here it is, this little chart here, basically saying what you can do for how long with what, what you're using, you know, spotlight, sump pump, DVD player, that'll take 100 watts and it'll, it'll power those things for an hour and a half and TVs and stuff for an hour and 15 minutes and computer printer medium power tools blenders for 55 minutes so you know if you're you know if you ever have a power outage or anything and you need to charge your phone or something your cell phone and anything like that it's a good little thing to have Die Hard, and it's a, uh, you know, in the picture there, there's uh, some people in the tent with a laptop, fishing, power outages, uh, sport trail, oh, tailgating, can't, I'm trying to read through the screen, so it's not, not coming in as clear, got the air compressor, of course, and the, the jump starting thing, so, you know, so it says there, AC, D, AC, DC, haha, <laughs> that's funny, USB power source, jump starter, compressor, inflator, deflator. So it's got quite a bit of stuff on it, uh, 50 hours on the 12 volt AC thing and the DC power. I don't know how, you know, accurate that is, but, you know, whatever. So yeah, I brought I bought this for uh, you know going to camp and uh, <clears throat> there was one camp out in the fall that we did and I it was a little before Halloween I think and I brought some orange Christmas lights that were like Halloween and I hung them up around our campsite thing and the Christmas tree lights on there they were orange I don't know what you call them but they're the same type of light. And it powered them pretty good. It only chewed up about 
forty percent and that was a couple hours. And it was cold too. And luckily we you know, that's it our camp out was at the campground that we camp at with the R V, the you know, the cheating camper. So so I was able to plug it in overnight and let it charge up a little bit, but I think it takes like I'm not sure how many, like 20 hours maybe to f charge it fully or something like that. Eight hours, I'm not sure. So, anyways, it's a it's a pretty cool little tool to have, anyways. So if you're ever looking for something that you know does all the stuff that this does, it's a pretty nice little tool to have, I think. You know, so, uh, anyways, that's all I have for you today, uh, tomorrow we'll be taking a little road trip, and we're going to Westfield, hmm, I wonder what that could be for, so, uh, so anyways, until tomorrow, I guess that's all I have, I might get, I'll get this video up, and see if I can get another video up later of me sitting in the car again, probably. Because I know you guys lo wa love watching that. So, uh. Yeah, so that's about it. So, uh. Until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and I forgot the, uh. The power cord. I don't know if I showed you this or not. The power cord, you know, it's just. Pl I got it plugged into an extension cord, but. That's only about the same size as any other, uh, cell phone. Cord, which surprised me. I thought it would be a big, thick cord for something that, you know, like a battery this big and, uh, you know, that's what it is there. So, uh, you know, it's not, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a 17 volt plug thing. So, yeah, it doesn't take much. I, you know, it takes about, like I said, I think the guy I knew who used it was running a CPAP machine off of it for his, you know, the thing, the mask you put on your face and, you know, it helps your breathing or whatever when you're sleeping. He would use that, uh, he would bring it to a, a place and plug it in uh, on our way to breakfast every day. And it let he let it charge all day, and it would it was plenty enough, you know, battery life for him to uh, to be able to use that. So uh, <clears throat> so you know if if you know you're ever looking for something like this, uh, they're at Sears. I'm sure you can get them anywhere else, pretty much. And uh, they you know I would get it on sale for a hundred dollars if I were you, but whatever, you know so. Anyways, that's a that's it, I guess. So uh yeah.